Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. I'm Tang Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to calculate ACF by two different ways with the Excel built-in function. In the previous video, I showed you how to calculate ACF by using this data in Excel and R. So let me show you again how to do it. Then let me show you second way. So for leg zero, so this is actually a numerator part row data minus average of total data times row data minus average of total data for leg one same time date data minus average of total data times leg one row data minus average of total data for leg two uh, same time uh, period data minus average of row data times the first time data minus average of row data uh, total data for leg three again same approach the first data for leg four first data minus average of total data so we can apply this formula for other cells in the same column right so denominator part we can use the VSQ function and select all row data For numerator part, so we can use sum of leg zero data, sum of leg one data, sum of leg two data, and sum of leg three, and sum of leg four. Right, then the ACF can be calculated by numerator over denominator part All right so yeah it is same as our output and this approach is quite understandable right there is another way uh, I would like to introduce to calculate ACF there is one reference site I have used so uh, we can think of some product and uh, offset function so let me show you some products uh, for example one two three this is first array and this is second array then if you multiply by each row then this is the sum of or yeah or data then uh, if you know if you are familiar with some product function and uh, if you specify first array and second array, then you can get same output. So some products uh, helps you multiply first array, uh, second or, uh, second array. Then uh, it multiplies uh, everything. I mean, uh, I mean if each row. Then it sums up uh, some uh, all row data. For offset. Uh, so this is a uh, basic offset uh, function. So for let's offset, the first one, uh, you need to specify reference. Then if you specify row column as one comma one, it, move, it means that uh, move uh, one row uh, 
in, uh, in this way and move one color on the right on, on the right direction right so uh, if you do not specify a height and width then the result is four because this four is from one down and one right right this is a basic uh, offset uh, function in Excel, right? Then, uh, if you uh, using if you use some product and offset function, then I already wrote down the formula here. You can get uh, ACF or leg one. So this is the uh, formula for this one. So some products and offset uh, specify data range, uh, data range, and you don't need to uh, move down and move right side. So fix the same. I mean, uh, uh, no change from a reference cell. And 20 means the number of samples, and P3. Is actually uh, leg uh, information, so it should uh, it, it can be 19, right? Then average the uh, part. So I showed you why we need to calculate average when I explained leg zero to leg four. Again, same approach, and the second offset is actually same uh, data ra range, and P3 is actually uh, reg reg information. So uh, it. Uh, uh, it yeah. Uh, P3 is one, so it will go down by one, right? Then the VSK, right? So if you apply this formula for other cells, and for zero here, then you can get uh, same R, uh, same R, same Excel output uh, like R. All right. So you don't need to generate uh, extra five columns to calculate ACF if you know the second way. I hope it was useful for you to understand how to calculate ACF by two different ways in Excel. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.